The year is 2030, and five billion human lives have just ended. For the survivors, every day is a fight to stay alive. A fight against the superintelligent robots who now dominate planet Earth. I bet you're wondering how we got here. It was the computers. We kept making them smarter so that we didn't have to be. In 1965, Irving John Good, a British mathematician and cryptologist, predicted that an ultra-intelligent machine could invent even smarter machines than itself and that they'd eventually take over the world. That's assuming that there even is a world to inhabit. In the 80s, K. Eric Drexler, a molecular nanotechnology pioneer, coined the idea of the Grey Goo, a scenario where out-of-control nanobots consume all biomass on Earth while rapidly replicating themselves. These little nanobots literally eat the environment until all you see is grey goo. Around the same time as the grey goo was conceived, James Cameron released The Terminator, which also depicted an impending robot takeover. But of course, this was only a movie, so we all just wrote it off as science fiction, as something that could never happen. Well, the joke's on us, because it might actually be happening. The idea that robots will recognise their consciousness and take over the world is what some scientists call the technological singularity. And it's closer than you think. If AI has a goal and humanity just happens to be in the way, it will destroy humanity as a matter of course, without even thinking about it, no hard feelings. There was a time when we were content with thinking for ourselves and machines were just something we controlled and programmed to do what we wanted. You know, back in the good old days. Now we want computers to think and act like humans without us having to do shit, and we call it artificial intelligence. And since AI, or this human-computer fusion, is developing so quickly, some experts think this robot takeover could actually happen around 2045. But it could be earlier. It could even be happening right now. So will robots actually take over? Or can we live in harmony? Well, technically, we're already living with robots. We use AI to unlock our phones, to drive our cars, to help create our vaccines. It's really up to us to decide how we want this relationship to continue. Because remember, we're the ones who train these machines. We're basically training computers to think and act like humans. To make decisions, to recognise speech, to be able to see, hear and even smell. AI isn't magic. It forecasts the future based on the patterns of the past and it finds these patterns in the data we train it with. So even if robots are destined to take over the world, we've trained them and we've given them the data that they're learning from. So how scary can they really be?